at pages 12 and 13. Everyone see number two up here? Name why the triangles are congruent. That's exactly what we did on pages 12 and 13. So the first uh, couple questions, that's what you, oh, sorry, wrong, I'm on the wrong one. That's yours, 12 for 34 points. So the first six questions tomorrow are just like on pages 12 and 13. So everyone see what I'm talking about? Okay, not possible might be a reason. Also, please remember, because I know that this happens every year, kids forget, what are the two things you are responsible to mark? Because I will not mark them for you. Vertical angles and a reflexive side. Remember that. All right? I will not mark those tomorrow. All right, you have to mark them on your own, then answer the question if they're congruent or not. Interior angles of a triangle, that's basically all the three angles add to. Buck 80. Uh, tech triangle exterior angle theorem. Here's what I'm talking about. Here's my exterior angle right here at one, and I have angle two, three, and four. Uh, what's angle one equal to? What do we go over as far as the theorem, Connor? Angle three plus angle four. The two remote interior angles added together. Okay, the two remote interior angles added together. Okay, uh, why do I have review question from unit three? I'm not, I'm not too sure why I have that. Oh, there is okay. There is a question that deals with parallel lines. So, okay, and congruent triangles, congruent triangles and parallel lines together. So, all righty. So, just a heads up there. That's why I put it up there. And then two proofs, uh, one similar to the one we did yesterday in our groups as far as difficulty level, and the other ones, uh, I guess it's fine. All right, five points each. Questions? Uh, anybody not here yesterday? Okay, so you guys know Delta Math, there's the review. And in addition to that, tonight's homework is not due until Friday. All right, so you can solely focus tonight on the quiz and the Delta Math if you want to try it out. So tonight's homework, not due until Friday. All right. Anything else before we move on to day six? Not on the quiz, though. Day six, not on the quiz. It's days one through five. Come on in today if you want to get any extra help. If not, let's get it. Get after it tomorrow. Get your first victory of the of the year. All right. All right. Here we go. Then let's get going with uh, today's notes. Uh, what I, all I'm going to do with you today is we have all our proofs have ended with the triangles being congruent by whatever reason. What happens after that, though? Like, we're going to extend our proofs one more step after we prove the triangles congruent. Uh, before we do that, can we do a quick review of uh, our methods? All right, going into the quiz tomorrow. Four ways to prove triangles congruent. Four different ways. Here we go. Start us off with a way here. Two, Aylin, one way. A S A A S. A A S. That's where you have two angles and a side not in between those two angles. Give me another reason. Proven triangles congruent. One, two, one, two, one, two, Henry. A-S-A. Okay, if the side is in between. Perfect. Uh, number three way to prove triangles congruent for tomorrow. Where am I going? Kira's not here. One more time, Zach. Uh, that angle is in between. If the angle is not in between, they're not congruent. All right, don't put SSA on your paper at all. All right, if the angle's not in between, they're not congruent to each other. Don't try it, or you just don't see it, I guess. And then the final way here, oh, one, seven, Catherine. Side, 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 perfect. All right, so we're going to still prove triangles congruent today, but now we're going to take it one step further. And to get you ready for that, take a look at example one. I'm telling you two triangles are congruent. Oh, where are my diagrams? You don't need them. You don't need them here. What I want from you guys right now are give me six, six pairs of corresponding parts that you know are congruent just by looking at the congruent statement up there. I don't need a diagram. Match them up. Remember, it's written in, in, in a specific order. All right, so if you're going to give me an angle, please give me it with a single letter. If you're going to give me a side, give me two letters. All right, start this bad boy off right. Give me a pair of corresponding parts that are definitely congruent up there. Violet? Good. W and E are equal in those two triangles. Another pair that are congruent. 
Anything, sides or angles, sides or angles. Shroom, Kevin. Uh, angle I congruent to angle U. Angle I congruent to angle U. Perfect. Uh, let's see. Good. Any pa other pairs? Let's keep this rolling here. Henry again. Uh, angle S is congruent to angle U. All right, all the angles are done. How about some sides now that are congruent to each other up here? Sides at Abby. W, I, and E, U. Good. Next up, keep the train going. Good job so far, Lucy. Um, side I, S, to side U. Got it. And then I'll take this last one, process of elimination, right? W, S, and E, P. But none of these... Would have been congruent unless you know the the triangles were congruent, right? None of this would have been true unless you knew the triangles are congruent. That's what our proofs are going to do today. Prove a pair of angles or sides are congruent, but they can't be congruent unless what's congruent first? The triangles, okay? So that's going to be our extra step. Prove the triangles congruent, then I'll prove a pair of angles or sides right after. So let's hop into this first proof. Go ahead, you guys know the deal. Get it ready for us. Do we all notice the proof statement? Are we proving triangles? No, we are proving a pair of corresponding angles congruent in those triangles. Those angles won't be congruent unless we do what first? The triangles have to be congruent before those angles become congruent. So that's what I want. You guys have plenty of practice in that. Get me these two triangles congruent first. So I have a pair of sides in CA and CB, pair of sides down. Anything else you know is true about this diagram so I can start moving towards getting these triangles congruent. Uh, let's try that again. There we go. Well, which one? CD. All right. So I got to count that CD congruent to itself. Reflexive. There's another pair of sides, two down, one more pair to go to get the triangles congruent. And where is that pair going to come from, right? Where's that pair? Use all your givens. Use all your givens there. Catherine, where's that other pair? Great job. AD congruent to DB. Uh, that's definition of a midpoint. Uh, I wish that was this easy tomorrow, huh? Ha! Huh. Yeah, right. Uh, are we all in agreement the triangles are now congruent? Okay, it's little, little change though. Last two days, all you guys would do is look at that little proof statement, copy it down, and you're good. Well, you got to come up with the correct congruence statement now for me. Okay, it's not there to copy. So let's start with naming one of the triangles any way you want. Uh, start it off, Violet. Triangle ACD, you got it. All right, everybody. So if we go ACD, this next triangle's got a, has a specific name. So if we go ACD on that one on the left, how do we name that one on the right? So everything matches up. Nice, Aditya. Uh, BCD. How about BCD? Good. And then how about the reason why those two triangles are congruent? We got four of them. Catherine, which one? Okay. Great job. SSS. So that's where we've been here the last two days. Any issues getting those triangles congruent? I hope not. I hope not. Now it's all right. If the triangles are now congruent, so are all the corresponding parts. Everyone agrees? Including the ones we're asked to prove. Angle ACD congruent to BCD. And now we just got to talk a new reason. Everyone agree that these angles are corresponding parts? Right, they're corresponding parts in what type of triangles? Corresponding parts in 
congruent triangles are congruent. congruent. Anybody want to complain right now? Go ahead if you want to complain. It's fine. Have a little vent session that you, I'm going to require you to write this every single time. Yep, have a little vent session if you need to. You don't have to write this if you don't want. There's a shortened version of this. Classic, classic mathematical shortened version of this. Again, I am fine if you guys want to write that every time you prove a pair of corresponding parts congruent. I'm fine. Here is the classic shorthand. Corresponding parts in congruent triangles are congruent. Let that roll off your tongue a couple times. CPCTC. CPCTC. Go ahead. Let it roll. Go ahead. Let it roll off the tongue. Yep. Go ahead. CPCTC. Do we need the bracket? No. No. You could just plop in CPCTC. Or you can use the written out version. Whoa, 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 not done talking. I don't care which version you use, but if you do use CPCTC, I do expect it in the correct order with the correct letters. I don't expect CPTABZYC to be there, all right? So if you're gonna use it, make sure it's in the correct order with the correct letters, okay? All good. Last thing before we move on, I don't know why. I, I kind of know why. I know how the brain works a little bit. This ends up somehow becoming a reason why triangles are congruent. No, no, it's not. It's after you prove triangles congruent, the parts are. Okay, so don't don't give me. This is not the fifth reason to prove triangles congruent. Keep the four you have. This is not one of them. Oh, good. All right, one doesn't make you great. Let's keep trucking. Shoom. All right, proof statement. I'm noticing that I have to prove two sides congruent in each of those triangles. So those sides won't be equal until the triangles are congruent. And look what I, you're welcome, by the way. Look, what did I start you out with? Two angles. Two pairs of angles. Are you kidding me? Two pairs of angles already. And we know the third pair is not going to be the other pair of angles because angle, angle, angle. Embarrassing. So it's got to be a side somewhere. So where is that side going to be in those two triangles that are congruent? Violet, what do you got over there? Yes. Darn right. PS congruent to itself. Reflexive. There's my side. Now two things. We got to write the triangle in the triangles in the correct order and also get the correct method here. It's step and reason three. All right, so name that first triangle any way you want. You guys are doing a good job here today. Gage, how do you want to name that first triangle? RPS. RPS, got it. All right, be careful on how you name the second one. RPS. RPS. So how does the second triangle have to go? RPS. And you got the second triangle there for me to Sophie QPS I get I under I got the Q right we look we went RPS so if you go QPS you're telling me those angles are equal which they're not QSP good work good work yep and now be careful here what's my reason going to be got to check if that side's in between or not right got to check if it's in between What's the method? What are you thinking here, Lucy? Um, AAS. 
Darn right, AAS. Now again, some of you may look at that and go, oh, whoa, 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 look, that PS is in between those congru- No, 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 you have to look at a single triangle. A single, not both of them. Look, cover up one of the triangles and you'll see PS is not in between those two angles we marked. So good job. And then let's finish this off. Now that the triangles are congruent, any of the parts are as well, including SQ and PR. Let it roll off the tongue. What do you got for me? CPCTC or write it all out. Your call. Any questions with CPCTC? Not on the quiz tomorrow. I should never see those five letters on your quiz tomorrow. All right, don't put them on there. It has nothing to do with CPCTC tomorrow. Whoa, how about the, wow, how about this one? That looks intimidating. Looks intimidating. But I can't get anything by you honors, kids, huh? Let's see. Let's see if I can stump you here. Here's why I'm doing this proof with you. Those angles in the proof statement won't be congruent unless the triangle. The triangle. What? Uh, the triangles? <clears throat> oh, 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 no, no, you're, no, no, you're, everyone's, you're correct. These two angles, ABI and ACI, will not be congruent unless the triangles are congruent. What well, I said triangles, question mark, because there's only two in that diagram. There, there's only two in that diagram. So it's pretty easy to know which two I'm going to prove congruent. But now, what if there's multiple triangles in the same diagram? Do I just pick two that look cool? No. All right, no. How do I figure out which two triangles I need to prove congruent? What do you think, Gage? Where, what two triangles are those angles located in? And those are going to be the two triangles. So everyone ready? Angle ABI. It kind of also spells out the triangle you're looking for, doesn't it? Even though it's angle ABI, it's going to be triangle ABI. So it's got to be this one with... The same triangle that has ACI or triangle ACI. All right, let's get those two congruent and then we'll have the angles equal. Uh, what did I give you? What's already given to you? A pair of sides and that's it. So you guys are going to tell me two other pair here in a second. All right, give me other two more pairs of court congruent parts that you know. Two more pair of court congruent parts. Hook me up here. Here we're going. But John, hook me up. Uh, AI. Somebody's got to do it, right? Might as well. Somebody's got to do it. Do that dirty work right there. Get that reflexive out of the way. That's what kids are like. Oh, he took what I was going to say. All right, one more pair. I don't know. I have SS. It could be another S or an angle, right? I don't know. Where's it going to be here? Where's it going to be? Use your givens. Use your givens. Come on, dig deep, Alan. Thank you. Those angles up here because BAC is getting bisected, cutting the two congruent ones. So angle BAI is indeed congruent to CAI. Definition of bisects. That gives me a pair of angles. All right, congruent statement now. Name one of the triangles any way you want. Your show, Jacob, triangle. You got it. Triangle ACI is the one on the right. And then how would you name the one on the left now? ACI and triangle. Where are we going with that one? Find it real quick. Lucia, we have ABI. Yeah, nice and easy. And how about the method now? Method, method, method. Well, Method of proving the triangles congruent. These two congruent. Oh, 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 no, you good? Yeah, well, All right. Don't get rattled over there. All right. Getting in a rough position, just like that hair over there. Jeez. You know they have barber shops around here. Just saying, fellas. 
for a couple of you there. All right. Rocking the mops. But I get it. Wildlife needs wildlife needs a home. Triangles are congruent. Now the angles are C P C T C. You have two options right now. You can go to the Delta Math and start reviewing for tomorrow, or go to those four proofs in the book. I know it's not due until Friday, but remember these four in the book, you're still proving triangles congruent. So it's still great practice for tomorrow. Just no CPCTC tomorrow.